already, no, we already have a Our teachers have been warned not even to add a fan <laughs> without permission because it could blow a circuit. As we get larger and larger classes, it gets really hard. I have 29 students this year, which is probably the most I've had since I've been back to teaching. First of all, make sure you named it. How do you name an angle? The kids get to do things, but again, we're, we're limited. We could do so much more if we had more space and more room, more of everything, <laughs> and less kids. But that doesn't work that way. Before, I just added four new students. Uh, that's brought me up to 294. Our capacity is 250. Despite all of that, our scores are, are tops in the area. Kids are wonderful. They, they adapt well. I just feel bad as a teacher because I could be doing so much more if we had um, the facilities. <laughs> When I was a freshman here, it was probably around 20 students to a class, and now I have classes upwards towards 30. You get tired after a while, just making do. What can you do about it? It's just overcrowded. The kids, the, the kids still get a good education. We try to give them as many opportunities as we can. One of the benefits of a small school is that there's that camaraderie. Everyone knows each other, and I think for the most part, everyone gets along. The tough thing is you're asking people that are already stretched thin to spend more money. What I would like to see, and what I believe we need to see, is that we need a new high school building. This is something that needs to happen. It's like a really like tight like group of people, except it's just unfortunate that it has to be so hectic between classes.